everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from October 3rd from OutKick. And these are always fun articles to read. The top 25 rated shows in cable news, CNN a non-factor, MSNBC misses Maddow. I love seeing that, just CNN and MSNBC getting their asses handed to them. So let's go into it. So it says, one of the most intriguing media stories coming into the year was is what impact, or lack thereof, CNN would have on the 2024 presidential election. CNN is the longest-running cable news network on television, and for decades, normies reflexively turned to the channel as their go-to source for election coverage. But the network is not what it once was. Oh, boo-hoo. Since Mark Thompson is now in charge, the company's third CEO in as many years, and CNN has set several viewership lows during Biden's presidency. The network also lacks a defined identity. Under Thompson, CNN is not as overtly left-leaning as it was under Jeff Zucker, nor is the channel as focused on reporting the news without an obvious bias as it was under Chris Lick. It says, where does that leave CNN less than five weeks before the election? It says, according to Nielsen Media Research data, CNN is arguably a non-factor in the discussion. Again, oh boo-hoo. Nielsen released the full list of cable news viewership for the third quarter of 2024 this week. Here are the top 25 rated shows from July 1st of 2024 to September 27th of 2024. And we're going to take a deep breath. I'm not going to read the actual like amounts, but or actually, you know what, here we go. I'll just leave it on the screen for a minute because otherwise it's going to take a while. But it basically goes Fox News, 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 Fox, 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 or oh, there's MSNBC coming in. Finally breaking the stranglehold from Fox at number 13 and then 14 and 15. How Joy Reid's program, which is number 14, readout, is on anything because she is just awful. Oh, there we go with MSC four in a row, five in a row, six in a row. And then Fox comes back, then MSNBC at 7, MSNBC, it was MSNBC, MSNBC and Fox, and then just Anderson Cooper pops in at 24 for CNN. So Fox is the top 12 shows on cable news. Okay, so the highest MSNBC one is Deadline, which I don't know who hosts that. Is that the Lawrence O'Donnell one? Well, whoever it is is just an idiot because they all suck over there. So there's just one CNN program, Anderson Cooper 360, ranked among the top 25 shows in cable news, compared to 24 for Fox News and 10 for MSNBC. Uh, that could be right, 24 for Fox News. It probably means 14. Yeah, because it wasn't 24. Otherwise, because I'm like, there was more MSNBC on here than just one remaining. I think it was supposed to be 14. So what, they were the top 12. Let's just count this. Do, 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 doing live stuff here. 13, 14. Yeah, so they meant... Uh, 14. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, wait a minute. Okay. So it should say ranked. So we'll repeat this with the right numbers. It's just one CNN program, Anderson Cooper 360, ranked among the top 25 shows in cable news compared to 14 for Fox News and 10 for MSNBC. Further, CNN averaged only 557,000 total daily viewers for the quarter. It's behind Fox News at 1.57 million and MSNBC at 889,000 and 896,000 viewers in prime time. And Fox News had 2.64 million and MSNBC had 1.43 million. So Fox News is doing practically twice as good as MSNBC and like they're light years ahead of CNN. So consider that CNN's considerably low quarterly ratings included several high-profile news stories, including two assassination attempts against Donald Trump, Biden's dropping out of the race, Kamala Harris's emergence, the RNC, and the DNC. If those satires can't even elevate CNN above a million viewers, network conchos must seriously wonder if its current batch of talents can provide any realistic upside moving forward. What's particularly concerning for CNN is that the three-letter brand is no longer a draw and the network lacks the star power to combat, to combat the fall of the brand's reputation. No matter the promotion, Abby Phillip, Laura Coates, and Caitlin Collins are not the answers. Resigning Brian Stelter, Mr. Potato Head himself, won't help either. This parent company, Warner Brothers Discovery, which is already in mountains of debt, ought to consider selling CNN. As currently constructed, the brand has peaked. Perhaps a tech company with more financial resources could give the channel the overhaul it so evidently needs. This is Amazon. Yeah, it's all Jeff Bezos needs is another propaganda outlet like the Washington Post. <clears throat> Other ratings observations here. So as MSNBC has been unable to maintain its once formidable reach since Rachel Maddow moved to a weekly format in 2022. Maddow's show regularly ranked among the top five programs of cable news each quarter. Now, handing the baton to Alex Wagner Tuesday through Saturday, the 9 p.m. hour on MSNBC is good for only 16th. Say what you will about Maddow, particularly her coverage of Russiagate. She's a draw. Yeah, that's true, even though she is like a total regime propagandist. And he says here, next thing, he says, I am intrigued by the direction of News Nation and upstart Next Star Media Group Cable News Network. 
The channel often presents both sides of the argument with freaking guests like Bill O'Reilly, Adam Carolla, and Stephen A. Smith. The network is also well produced and looks like a true player. Granted, viewership remains minuscule. News Nation's top-rated show, Quiz Cuomo's 8 p.m. primetime program, averaged just 160,000 viewers in the quarter. And in its other two primetime shows, Dan Abrams Live and Banfield, a true crime hour that is well worth a watch, drew 96,000 and 88,000 respectively. By comparison, Newsmax's top-rated show, Rob Schmidt Tonight, averaged 465,000 viewers. Well, yeah, I've seen that about News Nation, is that they tend to have people on both sides of the spectrum, and fine. And Newsmax, for people that don't know, is very much right-leaning. Says Fox News is dominant in the cable news space. FNC accounted for the top 12 shows during the quarter, with its second highest rated third quarter in network history. All in all, Jesse Waters is now the most viewed host in the industry by far. His two daily programs, The Five and Waters Primetime, are consistently the top shows in cable news. And I remember people saying, like, oh my God, what's Fox going to do after Tucker Carlson leaves? Well, <laughs> looks like they're going to be a okay, because this is, this is the show that took over Tucker Carlson's. Uh, slot right there at number two and barely behind the number one thing so yeah there you go well good for fox news you know there are definitely you know obviously they have their bias as well but they're a lot closer to the truth than msnbc which is just as i've mentioned a million times is basically just leftist propaganda network so let me know what you think about this in the comments below do you uh, what do you have to say about this? Do you uh, do you watch any of these programs? I mean, I don't. I don't watch cable news at all. But I am glad to see the sinking ship known as CNN sinking, and hopefully MSNBC can continue to tank as well. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.